this is gonna be a motorcycle modification video <laughs> the Yamaha R6 excuse me it's obviously blue as you can see and I'm gonna uh, sleek this thing out for lack of a better term so uh, take a journey with me so first things first I'm gonna yank this rear fender off I think those are uh, this is you know, a homologation it's uh it's a legal thing to, to get it into the United States they have to put these fenders on it for some reason so we'll just yank it off and the rear passenger pegs that's what we're trying to make this thing a race bike yank those out and while we're back there let's take this the, seat, the rear seat and put a seat cowl on there or my excuse for a seat cowl then we'll move to the front taking the mirrors off although these are nice mirrors reminds me of the 1198 Ducati mirrors it is they're a little small they don't encompass the whole mirror like the old school mirrors did and it's got the signals in there now the muffler as you can see it's silver I can you can try blacking it out I did it just for comparison since this bike looks can look, can look pretty dark I mean it's got everything else everything else in the center here is dark so I'm around by color so oh, we got to take the mirrors off that chief then the reflectors cuz who wants that thing don't they really do that much and let's tint the windscreen there we go all right so it's looking pretty looking pretty sleek already right it's more of how I'd like it if I chose to although I, it is so handy having mirrors though I must admit it's just so hard to pull off and make it look good uh the lights they uh they hid them on in the new uh, the new R series of the uh, Yamaha. Looks pretty good. I think they did a pretty damn good job. Lights are always so tough on a motorcycle. Now we can move and try a different exhaust. Um, I'm gonna put a TOS. I think it's pronounced T O C E. It's like a two slash cut pipes. Um, must be loud as hell. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, something to think about, you know. There's so many different exhausts. So this is one of the better one, uh, better looking ones, I should say. Now we go to the wheels. Let's try it black since we're blacking it out. And since we put that black there, I mean, this this under cowl, I'm gonna try to uh, try to darken up. I think it works. As the uh, Pirelli tires, I'm kind of old school. I like lettering on the tire. Especially when it's all blacked out, the black wheel. But I don't know. I think it can go good either way. I kind of like the silver. I like the brightness. Uh, maybe do the lower, f I mean, side of the frame. At least that could lead into it. I don't know, aesthetically and the flow and all that. Uh, maybe darken the tank up. And then do that chrome, but that kind of clashes with the frame, so. Eh. Darkening always looks cool with a little bit of color, right? You can even white and brighten the seat. That probably looks better with all these lighter colors. Maybe even put lighter wheels. The cat's going freaking nuts. Alright. How about. I want to watch all the black wheels. Let's try that. That still looks decent. I don't know, I like lighter wheels. I don't know. I know it's it's the trend for black wheels, so I'll leave those on, but I'd say something a little bit brighter than the <clears throat> a little brighter than the blue, like a gold would be real nice. Why the hell didn't I do gold? So I think the gold kinda I don't know, that's kinda my favorite colors. Gold gold with the blue. Maybe a little bit of silver white. Or chrome. But like I said, I can see the black, it's, it's just more race, you know what I mean? Just everything is just <clears throat> as dark as it can be. Um, what else did I have here? Oh yes, that's right, changing the color. Red-orange, not too shabby. I kind of love red-orange, man. I think it's badass. Now we'll try it with the gold wheels. Hmm. Interesting, what do you guys think? 
Norma Commons. 